there's a lot of people that know West now, and we were a little secret before. Everybody knew the Kalachi stopped, but nobody really knew about the city or the people. And I think that probably is part of it too. They they saw how, you know, how gracious and how you know how wonderful these people are, how tenacious they are, and how you know we all we always knew it. I always knew it, but nobody else did. Huge Czech culture. I think that's what everyone kind of gathers when they first come to West. Of course, we have Czech Stop, which is our main tourist attraction. We also have Slovaczics on the other side of the interstate. Um, West is a great town. If you want to raise your raise your family in a small town, I think West is definitely the place. Basically, just people who you know don't like the big cities. We like small towns. We like West. It's just our home. All I know is basically uh, my entire family's been around here all my life, and I don't know much more than that. I was born and raised in the West. Uh, went to local schools, Navarro Junior College, and so I've lived here all my life. My whole family has, has been in this area uh, for many, many years. What y'all doing? How are y'all? I'm fine. Just another, just another day in paradise. Uh, it's just a little, little town, tight knit community, uh, less than three thousand people. Of course, we're in Central Texas. There's a lot of, a lot of small towns. You know, everybody knows everybody. You know, I know my entire senior class. Talk to all of them. You know, that's just how small town schools are. We have a lot of dances, you know, just like country dances, whatever. Um, just hang out with friends, just whatever. Whatever you can do to pass the time in a small town. Growing up around, you know, in West, you know, you see Czech culture all the time, and you know, Junior Stoins has obviously been a, a great way to, you know, learn a lot more about that. You know, it means a lot to me just knowing where I came from and being able to uh, just spread that around to other people. Uh, pretty much all of my family is Czech in, in some form or fashion. We've uh, we've been around here for a long time, so all the junior historians come together, dance in the gym, let the parents come and see, uh, and then after that, we uh, go to our smaller performances around the state. I think my generation, you know, it'll be a little bit different. You know, world's always changing. You know, we change, we're still, you know, young kids. Um, I think we'll still continue to, to spread our heritage. You know, it never really goes away. You know, the modern world kind of gets integrated with our Czech culture. It's not like we're <laughs> in, the, in the past. We, uh, we, we stay pretty modern, too. I was in this office when my father was mayor. My father, A.J. Mushka, was mayor of the city of West. Uh, that's one thing that's very close to me. That gave me a... a a dream of maybe someday serving my town that's been so generous and so good to me. I think that uh, I'm hoping to be just as, as good or better a mayor than he could be. So that's my, that's my dream. Normally pretty quiet, you know. Um, you know, maybe a city council meeting going on or a sports event going on at the high school, but yeah, other than that, it's pretty quiet. More people attend the Catholic Church. You know, that kind of comes with the Czech culture. Um, we have a Baptist church, which I attend. We have a Methodist church, Church of Christ. I'd say we're a, we're a pretty religious town. As I walk down the street with you guys and and showed you the houses I could point out pretty much each each and every one of them and who lives there now and who did live there 
Uh, I was born and raised in that community. I was born and raised in that block. I, I, I moved there when I was eight years old. So I knew, I knew the Bezdeks and the Hoshiks. I knew the Litnitskys. I knew the, the Norses. I knew all of those families when I was eight years old and grew up with their kids. And so as mayor, you know, we are one big family because they take care of me, I take care of them, and, and, and that's what a small town, I think, is really all about. So uh, it, was, it was a blessing, I guess, for me to be mayor at the time of the explosion. So I was not only the mayor, but I was there. I was little Tommy Mushka who grew up with them. And so uh, I, I feel that that was, that was a blessing that I had to, uh, to give my, my citizens. West has been in the public eye, especially since the explosion, or maybe it'll just falter out once people kind of move past West, but it was all kind of surreal. Normal day at school, you know, it didn't, nothing really different about the atmosphere. Um, normal day at school, uh, day like today is really nice, nice weather, beginning of spring, you know, animals are starting to come out, and now I went to church that night. I believe our youth minister was talking about 1 Corinthians 13 about love and what love is and you know in the background I heard I started to hear sirens which was peculiar but I didn't really think of anything at the at the time and then he started running outside because he's also a police officer and a fireman you hear this big bang and the lights go out we see this huge mushroom cloud and, and I heard someone shout out that's the that's the fertilizer plant The day of the explosion, of course, it started out like any normal day. Um, just sat down to eat dinner with my family like always. And then just out of nowhere, huge boom. Just went outside to see a gigantic mushroom cloud. Uh, scary experience. We're scared, everybody's scared. The town's starting to realize what happened and it was just a, it was a, it was a crazy day. We had heard stories of other houses, and compared to those stories, it, our house wasn't too bad. We had a couple of windows blown out, a couple of door frames messed up, but we kind of cleaned up. We boarded up the windows that were blown out. It was all kind of a blur, actually. This, just a day or two after the explosion, all this help that was coming in. You know, you look on the news, and they still have helicopters flying around the fertilizer plant. And, and it, it was it was crazy to see a place that you'd run by and drove by so many times on the news just completely gone and smoking and it was crazy how much they were talking about it. I'm gonna be the mayor of this town until this town is fixed. I, I owe it to them, uh, and that's my that's my duty. Uh, until then, I'm gonna be I'm I plan on being here and I'm gonna work hard day day in and day out getting each and every one of these things, you know, these problems fixed. After that, we'll see. I, I, I'd like to go back to being mayor and just worry about dogs and potholes, but uh, you know, I, I guess I was, I was baptized by fire, and so it might be refreshing to be a mayor and just worry about potholes. The days after it were really chaotic, and and then the day we went back to school, it was very sad because I had some classmates who had lost family members. I had one friend who lost her dad. Um, and, you know, it was kind of sad. And, and the teachers, they, they didn't really know what to do. They didn't want to bombard us with work again because we had, we had just a couple of days earlier been through this traumatic event. But it was really kind of awkward, I guess. And these, these counselors came in from somewhere and they 
they tried to reason with us about what was going on and it was just a really awkward kind of day and I don't know it was it was I can't really explain it it was I, I, I don't know what word to put on it but, but the days after I guess I, I I haven't experienced days like that before and I, I hope never to ever again. The day after and the following days, um, you never really wanted to just sit around and do nothing. That was about the worst thing you could do. So we all we all started to just help out whatever way we could. I know we had, uh, you know, supplies coming in from everywhere, so we all helped out with that. Just anything we could do to help. You know, we just didn't want to be doing nothing. The city, you know, went through a tragic, tragic accident with, with the explosion. The citizens uh, started very quickly uh, with their plans of reconstruction. This is a marathon, not a sprint. And, and I still say that. Uh, we, uh, we, are, we are well into our marathon, but, and we have a lot of homes. Uh, the nursing home is coming up. The high school is, is quickly uh, becoming, uh, starting to be built. Um, and hopefully that will be built in about a year and a half. Immediately after the explosion, we got all of these schools, you know, and communities in general just coming, volunteering their time to come and help out with the rebuilding process. And, and then all these other schools came and brought by computers or offered buses to transport kids. It, it's definitely made West a better place. We couldn't have done this on our own. And all the support and help we've gotten from all these other communities has, has definitely helped West and it will continue to in the long run. Now we're, we're kind of at that point where we're just, um, we're in the rebuilding stage. We're, we're starting to get over it now and it's, it's returning to life as usual. It's not perfect, but a community there, they've done the best they can. I know that they're getting somewhat uh, stressed out because the new school hasn't started, but I feel that my daughter will, will be graduating from the new West High School. Well, we were, you know, we were a little secret little spot, um, and, and it was, we, we liked that. Uh, the city of West will, will find its new normal. Um, we don't know exactly what that normal is going to look like just yet. West is definitely a family, and if that wasn't apparent before the explosion, it's definitely apparent now. And I've kind of observed older generations, and you know, come time their senior year, they're they're ready to get out, like most high schoolers are. But after a few years in college of kind of getting away, most people are kind of attracted back, and start their own family and I, I can see several of my friends starting families here in West. The people who have been here have been here for quite a while and, and the explosion didn't really change their mindset on West. Some of them will uh, probably be like me, they'll want to go out and you know see what else there is, you know a small town you don't see a lot so you want to get out there see what else there is to see, but then I think a lot of them will uh, decide to come back as, as they always do. That's just kind of what West does. It brings you back. This disaster has been one of the, one of the best run and best recovered disasters uh, in the history of the United States. I mean, we lost a quarter of our town. I'm so proud of these the people that live here, and that's what I think makes this town the best, best town in the world. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever move out of this town. Uh, I, I love this town. I don't see me ever moving out of, my, out of this town. Uh, this is where my, my family is and my friends are. Uh, so, uh, no, I don't. Unless something really drastic comes up, I, 
I think I'll be here for a long time.